Hey everyone, I'm here to tell you about the new convertible ultrabooks that are now being released with the new Windows 8 operating system. Windows 8 has been created to work on not only the PC, but tablets and even smartphones. It makes the convertibles great for switching between tablet form and a full keyboard laptop form. So to start things off, Sony has released their VIO Dual 11, which has a nice set of features. When closed, the Duo acts as a tablet using Windows 8 and the tile-style touchscreen. When you want to use the Duo as a laptop or just need a keyboard, the top will slide upward to reveal the keyboard with Sony's Surf Slider. The VIO Duo has an 11-inch full 1080p IPS touch display, which is 0.71 inch thick and weighs 2.87 pounds. So its thinness and lightness are equivalent to the typical Ultrabook, but as a tablet, the Apple iPad is like half as thin and light. Of course, the iPad isn't a fully powered computer. The Duo 11 was released with four options to choose from, starting at $1,099 for the base model with the Intel i5 processor, a 128GB SSD drive, and 4 gigs of RAM. The upgrades go up to the $1,499 model with the i7 and a 256GB SSD drive and 8GB of RAM. Next is the Dell XPS 12 Convertible Ultrabook, which the top opens up like any other Ultrabook, but the touchscreen can rotate 180 degrees inside the lid, and you can then close the lid again to put the Duo in tablet form. The XPS 12 has a 12.5 inch full 1080p touch display. It is only 0.58 inch thick and weighs 3.35 pounds, making it so far the thinnest convertible on the market, but it is also a little heavier than the average Ultrabook. The Dell XPS 12 was also released with four different models to choose from, starting at $1,199 with the basic specs and goes up to a high-end price of $1,699 with the i7 processor, a 256GB SSD drive, and 8 gigs of RAM. Next is the popular IdeaPad Yoga from Lenovo, which also opens up like a normal laptop, but the hinges allow the screen to flip 360 degrees all the way around to flatten up against the bottom of the Ultrabook to form a tablet. It can also stand up in tent mode for easily viewing the display on a table. The Lenovo Yoga has a 13.3 inch touch display with a 1600 by 900 pixel resolution. So it's not quite as clear as the first two convertibles shown here, but it still has the typical resolution found on an Ultrabook this size. It is 0.7 inch thick and weighs 3.3 pounds which is around the average thickness for an Ultrabook, but the weight is a little heavier, especially when using it as a tablet. The Yoga comes in three different models, the base model being only $999, making it currently the most affordable convertible as of now, but you'll only get an i3 processor with that. You may want to upgrade to the much better i5 model for only $1,099, or even the $1,299 model, which sports the i7, 256GB SSD drive, and 8 gigs of RAM. And now we get to the Toshiba Satellite U920T, which opens up almost in the same style as the Sony VIO Duo, but the touchscreen slides back to reveal the keyboard, and then tilts up to bring it into Ultrabook form. The touchscreen may be exposed at all times, but like the Sony, the Gorilla Glass on the screen provides protection and scratch resistance. The screen is 12.5 inches, and the first thing you'll notice about it is the very low resolution of 1366 by 768. This is pretty bad compared to the typical displays on tablets and ultrabooks, and especially considering the Sony VAIO and the Dell XPS both have 1080p displays that look much better and at around the same price. It is also currently the thickest convertible at 0.8 inch thick, and it weighs 3.35 pounds. The U920T was released with one model priced at $1149, which comes with the i5 processor, a 128GB SSD drive, and 4 gigs of RAM. It's really not a bad Ultrabook, but the others that are available right now are better values in our opinion. 
all of these convertible ultrabooks may not be as comfortable as standalone tablets when in tablet form, but it is always nice to have the power of a full-size PC in your tablet, as well as a keyboard when you need it. We do recommend basic tablets like the iPad or the Kindle Fire if you only really plan on reading it and for simple web browsing. Okay, so here are a few convertibles that are scheduled to be released sometime in November. This one being the 11.6 inch HP NVX2. Basically an ultrabook, but the touch screen is removable, making it a tablet when it's removed from the bottom half with the keyboard. The 11.6 inch MSI S20 slide book, which slides the touch screen back and up much like the Sony Vaio. And there's the 11.6 inch dual screen Asus Tai Chi, which has two full HD touch screens, one for the normal Ultrabook display area and another one on the back side that powers on when the lid is closed so that you can use that as a tablet. Now you can see more about these convertibles at the website and we will have more on the convertible Ultrabooks to be released as they are released, so make sure you stay up to date with us at topultrabooks.com. Come and check out news and updates on the latest Ultrabooks and more. I'll see you guys later.